If you want to be a real leather man, you need to master leatherbacking and vintage story. In this guide, we're gonna dive into different steps of leatherbacking, from crafting liquids and soaking hides to scraping, dyeing, oiling, and eventually turning leather into useful stuff like backpacks, armor, shields, books, or winter clothes. Basically, there is an easy way to process leather without soaking and a more complicated one with a lot of waiting and in-between steps. If you don't soak hides, you won't get finished leather, but you can already craft some basic armor and other goodies from the pelts. All you need to do is get as many hides as you can, such as 64 small ones, 32 medium, 16 large and finally 8 huge hides. Each of these types will consume 16 lumps of fat to oil the hides and let them sit for 3 days to cure. Well, you can keep them in your pocket, in your chest, or even drop them on the floor. The curing process will do the job anyway. And when it's done, you can easily make some nice things like a furry set of clothes, a basic backpack, wooden, copper, or bronze armor, or even a longbow. While this is all nice, I'd say you progress a bit more to get your copper or bronze tools first, so you can craft pickaxes and barrels, because you'll need those if you wanna get tanned leather and make more advanced stuff. In our barrels, we're gonna prepare wick tannin, strong tannin, and either lime water or diluted borax. Craft a few barrels from wood planks and sticks, make a bucket from planks and flax twine, scoop some water and fill the barrel. Now go cut an oak tree to get the oak logs and drop five of them into the barrel with 50 liters of water. In 24 hours you're gonna get weak tannin. Prepare tannin in at least two barrels, because after 24 hours you'll need to add five more oak logs to get strong tannin. So in two days you should have two barrels, one with weak tannin and another with strong one. While that is cooking, get some limestone or find borax, which can usually spawn on the surface and kind of resembles quartz. Borax is more efficient, because you need twice as less borax and it soaks your hides two hours faster, but borax can be more scarce, because it usually spawns in small amounts. While in contrast you can find bloody mountains of limestone, you can also get lime from gathering and grinding seashells, but this is mental, man. So you'd better hope for the limestone mountains or decent borax deposits. Regardless of what you find, you need to craft a quern. Get your pickaxe ready and mine 4 clean granite, andesite, peridotite or basalt rocks by digging around them so the loose stone drops untouched. Combine 4 stones with 2 sticks in your crafting window and you've got a quern now. Grind whatever materials you have, like limestones, shells or borax, to get the powder. You need 50 lime or 20 borax to dissolve in 50 liters of water in a barrel, and here is your instant milkshake. Now grab your hides, and in one barrel of lime or borax water you can either soak 25 small hides, 12 medium, 8 large or 5 huge ones. Now here is the tricky part, 25 small and 5 huge hides will yield 25 leather in the end, while 12 medium and 8 large will only give 24 leather. Anyway, drop your hides in the barrel and wait for about 20 hours. Now when it's ready, scrape your hides with a knife to prepare them for further basing. Grab your hides again and dip them in the first barrel with wick tannin. Close it up for 3 days and you're gonna get soaked hide now. Next, drop these hides into the strong tannin and that's our final destination. All it takes is waiting for around 5 days and we're gonna get leather. And after all this cooking and waiting, you can finally craft the best backpack in the game and also a decent set of leather armor. Now if you wanna spice up your leather, you can also grab another barrel and pour 48 liters of water there. And if you just right click, you'll empty the bucket, but if you hold control, then you can pour water by liters and that's how you're gonna get 48 liters of water in the barrel, okay? Now gather 48 grass and drop it there as well and you'll get 48 liters of green dye which you can dip your leather in and ruin everything man because now your leather is not suitable for armor but you can craft colorful antler mounts shields or books and that kind of completes our leather working guide let me know if i missed anything because the process is pretty lengthy and maybe there are some tips and tricks to cut the corners or save resources and that's it for me now and i'll catch you in the next one